mainit-init na balita guys. Matapos sumabog o oh, nagkaroon ng epidemya sa buong mundo ng coronavirus nitong taon, may bago na namang virus na mula sa China na tinatawag na brucellosis. Isa na namang epidemya na manggagaling sa China kung saan hindi pa naman tayo tapos o hindi pa tapos ang buong mundo makipaglaban sa COVID-19. Ngayon, may bago na naman outbreak or epidemia na nanggaling sa China. Ito ang brucellosis. Isa na naman daw nakakamatay na sakit at nakakatakot. Ano nga ba ito? Ano sintomas? Paano natin siya makukuha? Bakit naging outbreak to sa China? Nandito po, pakinggan po natin ang susunod na clip. Brucellosis caused by ingestion of unpasteurized milk or undercooked meat from infected animals or close contact with their secretions. Brucella species are small, gram-negative, non-modal, non-spore-forming, broad-shaped, cocobacilli, bacteria. They function as facultative intracellular parasites, causing chronic disease, which usually persists for life. Four species infect humans, B. abortus, B. canis, B. melitensis, and B. suiz. B. abortus is less virulent than B. melitensis and is primarily a disease of cattle. B. canis affects dogs. B. melitensis is the most virulent and invasive species. It usually infects goats and occasionally sheep. B. suiz is of intermediate virulence and chiefly infects pigs. Symptoms include profuse sweating and joint and muscle pain. Brucellosis has been recognized in animals and humans since the 20th century. The symptoms are like those associated with many other febrile diseases, but with emphasis on muscular pain and sweating. The duration of the disease can vary from a few weeks to many months or even years. In the first stage of the disease, septicemia occurs and leads to the classic triad of undulant fevers, sweating, often with characteristic smell lichen to wet hay, and migratory arthralgia and myalgia, joint and muscle pain. Blood tests characteristically reveal leukopenia and anemia, show some elevation of Atlantic Standard Time and ALT, and demonstrate positive Bengal-Rose and Heidelstein reactions. This complex is, at least in Portugal, Israel, and Jordan, known as Malta fever. During episodes of Malta fever, Melitococcemia, presence of bruise lie in blood, can usually be demonstrated by means of blood culture in tryptose medium or albini medium. If untreated, the disease can give origin to focalizations or become chronic. The focalizations of brucellosis occur usually in bones and joints and spondylodesitis of the lumbar spine accompanied by sacroiliitis is very characteristic of this disease. Orchitis is also common in men. Diagnosis of brucellosis relies on 1. Demonstration of the agent, blood cultures in tryptose broth, bone marrow cultures. The growth of brucelli is extremely slow, they can take up to two months to grow, and the culture poses a risk to laboratory personnel due to high infectivity of brucelli. 2. Demonstration of antibodies against the agent, either with the classic Adelson, right? and or Bengal rose reactions, either with ELISA or the tumor captothenol assay for IgM antibodies associated with chronic <laughs> disease 3. Histologic evidence of granulomatous hepatitis on hepatic biopsy 4. Radiologic alterations in infected vertebrae, the Pedro Pons sign, preferential erosion of the enterosuperior corner of lumbar vertebrae, and marked osteophytosis are suspicious of brucellic spondylitis. The diseases cycli are highly variable and may include granulomatous hepatitis, arthritis, spondylitis, anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, meningitis, uvitis, optic neuritis, endocarditis, and various neurological disorders collectively known as neurobrucellosis. Brucellosis in humans is usually associated with the consumption of unpasteurized milk and soft cheeses made from the milk of infected animals, primarily goats, infected with Brucella melitensis and with occupational exposure of laboratory ones, and slaughter. Some vaccines used that most notably be abortus strain 19, also cause disease in humans if accidentally injected.
Brucellosis induces inconstant fevers, miscarriage, sweating, weakness, anemia, headaches, depression, and muscular and bodily pain. The other strains, B. suis and B. canis, cause infection in pigs and dogs, respectively.